What's going on everybody? Fun Bros here and guess what? We're about halfway through the NBA season and you know we've been keeping up with what's been going on. Kobe was struggling in the beginning of the season but he's picked up his mojo to finish his last final year. And LeBron, D-Wade, Carmelo, CP, they're all still really, really good but I think it's about time we need to focus on the next generation of ballers. So joining us today we've got short Asian dunker Nelson Chan as well as New York Asian baller Jimmy Ng. Good, yeah, it's brick outside, man. Yes, man, it's super cold in New York right now. That's why we gotta film this video indoors. So here it is, NBA Signature Moves Part 5, The Next Generation. First one up is the former number one draft pick, Andrew, Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins. All right, so a lot of people have done spin moves before, but Andrew Wiggins, he goes super hard, he covers a lot of ground, and he goes straight through traffic. Pay close attention to the power dribble that he takes right before the super spin move. Help, help! Andrew Wiggins is really skinny, but he's really strong. Hey, so his skinniness helps him go <laughs> Everything that Nelson does, it looks like he's about to dunk it. Oh, silky smooth. Wiggins is a pretty funny name. And for his next move, he got this post up fadeaway where he does one shoulder shake and then he skies up and fades away for the shot. Oh, it's hard to be stiff. Yeah. You got <laughs> Up next, we've got an up and coming bona fide superstar, Damian, Damian Lillard. Dame Dalla. You know what time it is? <laughs> his game winners, man, his clutchness, he can't be mad. And probably the greatest NBA rapper of all time. So we're gonna show you Damian Lillard's sidestep and step back, but because Damian Lillard's game is so powerful, we call it the power step back or the power sidestep. He's gonna hit his defender with an in and out, jab with his left, and then sidestep to his right for a powerful three-point burst. Oh! It's Dame time. Yeah, it's, it's almost like Damian Lillard can't do that move unless it's clutch time. <laughs> Lillard was Asian, he would have the digital. Nah, shout out to those G-Shocks, man. Right, so for the next move is what we call the power step back. So let's contrast Damian Lillard's step back to Kemba Walker's super step back, where Kemba is actually leaping back to create the space. Dame is actually stomping his foot so hard, he's making the defender scared that the defender backs up to create the space. Essentially, he's doing this. <laughs> and then the person's going, ah! And then he's shooting. What's up? What's up? So right-handed players like to jab with their right foot and step back with their right foot. But Damian Lillard is so strong and under control, he can jab with either foot. Oh! It's the right! Oh! It's the right! It's the right! It's the right! I got scared. I thought he was gonna come at me. All right, next move we got is Kyrie Irving's step back crossover that he pulled on Brandon Knight in the rookie sophomore game. I'm sure you guys know who Kyrie Irving is, but Brandon Knight's actually a pretty good player, but for whatever reason, he has some incredibly bad low lights. The guy that defended the team's small forward. Kyrie oh, Irving. no! Oh, no! Oh, no! The lefty version. Brandon Knight is by far the best player who constantly has Shaq in a full moment. That's the MVP Shaq in a full man. <laughs> this is Brandon Knight missing the potential game winning open layup. Throws it, intercepted! Knight, two seconds, one second. Oh, he missed it! Throws it, intercepted! Knight, two seconds, one second. Oh, he missed it at the hole! But it's all good because despite the missed layup, Brandon Knight ended up doing really well in overtime and the Bucks still won. So Brandon Knight this time, he was so indecisive that he didn't know whether to dunk the ball or lay it in, so it just ended up in tragedy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Can I say, it's just nerves, you're hella nervous. Hey, shout out to Brandon Knight for still having a career after all those mistakes though. Man. All right you guys, in this section we're gonna introduce to you new NBA vocabulary that's been around for a while but didn't go mainstream until this year, the, the Hezzy. 
until this clip of LeBron James came out saying it to Stephen Curry, it didn't really get popularized. So you gonna go here, here, and then here again? I'm like, damn. Three hezzies? Give my point guard three hezzies though. Three hezzies though. Thought how like the dab didn't get mainstream until Cam Newton. Also like how OBJ introduced the hidden folk to the world. Ah. 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 When Westbrook does the hit him folks dance, it's like a hit him folks. He does the flex him folks. <laughs> just the hoo, hoo, hoo. Ah. There's hesitation and then there's hezzies. Basically, if you got humiliated by the hesitation move, you got hezzied. Yes! <laughs> this is Steph Curry pulling the hezzy on Chris Paul. All he does is kind of make a motion like he's about to shoot, and then he still keeps his dribble and crosses over and gets a more open shot. Oh! Oh! Man, I'm never gonna win a championship like this. All right, so this next move is Isaiah Thomas's Hezzy. His movements are so nuanced and subtle in this move that it just like barely gets people. Ah! Hit him with the Hezzy! Hezzy. We gotta talk about the youngest, hottest player in the NBA right now, Kristaps Porzingis. This is his hezzy move that he pulled on Mark Gasol for an and one. Porzingis had a strip, got it back, flipped it up. I got that Euro swag. <laughs> I got that European swag. I mean, Latkas and Latvia, Porzingis be blocking ya. Boom shakalaka la. Yeah! So, this next move, we're gonna be showing you Russell Westbrook's. Strong pull up jumper. The perimeter, but not to me. Westbrook! Oh. Ah. Alright, this next move we got coming up is James Harden's twinkle toe step back. James Harden's game is super unique looking, and there's something about this step back where if you're not used to seeing it, it kind of looks like a travel, but he is only taking two steps. How James Harden likes to do this is that he'll do about two setup crosses, and then he'll hop into a side step. James Harden, uh -huh. that's the sauce right there, man. <laughs> and you know we couldn't do this episode without mentioning the league's best player right now, Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. And here's Steph Curry, super high rainbow scoop layup. Curry behind the back, drives past Sessions high, up and in! Yeah, Curry does it, this time with a right hand. Oh! You can't block that. So the next move is Steph Curry's behind the back pass on the pick and pop with Draymond Green. Basically it's like a pick and roll, but instead of rolling into the lane, the screener is picking and popping for the three. The last of our rising superstars in the NBA, we're gonna go with Kawhi Leonard. So Kawhi Leonard is known as the best on-ball defender in the entire NBA. He just has really long arms, they're really fast. Of course, Nelson has got the CP3 jersey on, so he's gonna be playing CP3. Jimmy's gonna be Kawhi Leonard, and Kawhi is gonna make Chris Paul like he has no idea what he's doing. Kawhi Leonard doesn't really have a go-to move, nor a signature move, but what he's known for is his actual defense. Often Chris Paul just not being able to control his handles. This classic NBA low light from this season would be Marcelo's Huertas getting blocked by Tyler Johnson. I don't know what it is, but Tyler Johnson does not like Marcelo Huertas. Just not aware that his Huertas would rather pass than shoot, but he's going to have to fire, block, and then he goes to <laughs> That kind of sums up this Lakers season in a shot. Of course, we've got to do some of the favorite dunks that we've seen this NBA season thus far. Saved by Frazier. Oh. Saved by Frazier. Oh. 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 All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching NBA Signature Moves Part 5, The Next Generation. Honestly, we do hope that you learned something, but if not, at least we hope that you got entertained and we made you laugh. Who's it gonna be after Kobe? Who's it gonna be after LeBron? Who's it even gonna be after Steph Curry? 
It could even be you. All right, make sure you let us know in the comments section below what your favorite move in this video was, as well as who you think is the best up and coming ball player. Maybe they're a rookie right now, maybe they're in college, high school, middle school, or maybe even overseas. Until next time, we're out. Peace. Oh, I wasn't even close. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching that video. I'm Nelson, the short Asian dunker. Here we have NY Chinese Hooper, Jimmy A. Follow me on Instagram, jimmy.ng. So what's my channel about? Hoop and life, I cover everything between the hoop aspect of the game and the life aspect of the game. Hoop, I have sneaker reviews, training videos. Where lifestyle, I have motivation talks where you know how to inspire you to do things better in life. Also, make sure you check out Richie's channel. I know you guys miss him from these videos, but he's got a lot of dope stuff he's doing on his channel. Shout out to Tana, Johnny, everybody back in Seattle. I'm not gonna lie right now, you look like Stefan Marbury's teammate on the Beijing, Beijing Ducks. Ducks. You look like a CBA all-star, AKA a leaning advertisement. What the hell are you? We got nicknames here. We got Short Asian Dunker, Nelson Chan. We got Asian Zero. And then Asian. I think they might just have to call me Hooper with the big calves. Oh, oh big shit. calves. Bro, we call those the cantaloupe calves. <laughs> Watch this video right here. Watch this video right here. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace.